Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your luxury cruise experts, and today I'm on board the beautiful celebrity Equinox. Now I always love to find those little secret hidden gems on a cruise ship, and this is one of them. If you're traveling with a group, with a large family, maybe just an extended family, grandma and grandpa are going along as well, I love this combination. You can see that right here there's two doors. There's actually a lock off that I can shut completely and then if you purchase both rooms, you can lock that off and your room key will open it up. So right here in front of me is an ocean view forward facing stateroom. So if we head on in here, we'll show you what that's all about. Now as soon as you walk in the door, on the back of the door, you're gonna have a do not disturb magnet. So you just put that right outside to communicate that with your cabin steward. You got a couple hooks right up here. You can put your jackets on when you come in. And then right to the left is the bathroom. It's the same bathroom that you're gonna find in all of the ocean view, inside and balconies on the entire ship. Now as we step in here, it's a good size for this kind of room. You got a toilet in the corner there, storage up and down, more storage all the way up and down here. You got your hair dryer right in there, single vanity. And then right across is the shower. Now I wanted to point out, I'm a big guy, I'm 6'6". Six, six. I do fit in these showers, and what I love is there's not a shower curtain, they do have the glass doors that shut. Gives you a lot more space, you can see I can move around a bit. You have those full-size bath amenities as well too, like you have in all the celebrity fleet, trying to eliminate the single-use plastics. As we continue on into the space, you've got a floor-to-ceiling mirror here, you can check yourself out before you head on out. Right here to my left, you're gonna have all of your main hanging storage. So there's hangers all the way across. You got those nice comfy robes in there and then those pull down as well for a little more hanging storage as well. Next up is the bed. So what I like about these beds is they can be pulled apart to have two twins if you prefer that. In that case, the two side tables would push together. Tons of room underneath to store your bags. And then right up above here, I wanted to point this out, you've got more storage up above as well. Let's continue on through the space. What you've probably noticed is I've been walking a lot more than I do in just about any other ocean view cabin anywhere in the cruise world. I love the amount of space in this one. You've got your small writing desk right there, mirror with light just above. Down below here, you're gonna have your mini fridge. You've got your safe tucked in, big enough for a laptop and also your personal belongings. Storage up and down there. And then you also have a large flat panel TV, which is interactive. You can see what's going on throughout the ship in addition to watching television. You've got your couch right here, nice and comfortable to watch TV. Now the TV does angle towards the bed as well if you prefer that. And then right at the very front, you have a separate seating area. So there's almost three different areas here. The bedroom, the living room, and then a nice little seating nook here. I love that you can sit down, you got a little coffee table, you can sit, have a cup of coffee, look out the front of the ship. Now it's actually raining outside right now. Would bother me on a balcony, not right here. This is a really fantastic option. Now the room that would combine with this, now it's on deck seven and eight on the front corners of the ship. Of course, you can book those right on the website if you'd like. You can come right through here and now we're gonna head into the family stateroom. So this is a family veranda. It is a massive amount of space. Let me show you what it's all about. Now, as soon as you walk in the door, you're gonna have the magnets. You can put that just outside to communicate with your cabin steward, do not disturb or make up room. And I did wanna point something else out really, really quick here. So there's a lockout where you can connect to an ocean view stateroom. It's one of those forward facing ocean views. You can check that out on our channel as well, but you can purchase the two together and then your key would just open the outdoor and here. So if you need even a little bit more space for the family. Now the first space that we're gonna take you in is the second bedroom. This is the guest room or well bunk room if you wanna go there. You have a small bed down here, so it's a twin size bed. You also have another twin that will pull down from the bunk so that you can take advantage of that and have two separate sleeping areas. I love that there's a door, you can close it off. That way you can still watch TV in the living room and have the nice quiet space. You've got a reading lamp and a small bit of storage. Right here, you're gonna have your hanging storage all the way across. You got some shelves underneath there. You also have the ladder for the bunk tucked in and a little bit of storage up above as well. So now let's head into the bathroom. It's a really good size for a balcony stateroom. You got the toilet tucked around the corner, storage up and down here, more storage in here. Your hair dryer's tucked in there as well, a little bit of more storage underneath. And what I love about the shower is, you know, I'm a big guy, I'm 6'6", six, six. I can move around a little bit in here. What I really love is they've got these shower doors that close, give a lot more space rather than a shower curtain. Now, when we head into the living room, you really get a sense of the incredible amount of space in this particular room. 
You've got a writing desk tucked just off here to the corner. And then as we head into the main part of the space, you're gonna find your large flat panel TV. There's storage all the way up and down, really fantastic if you're traveling with a family. You've got your fully stocked mini fridge underneath there. And then right above, you're gonna have your safe. It is big enough for a laptop and your personal belongings as well. You've got another small writing desk that doubles as a vanity right here. It's gonna have the light that lights up so you can sit there to get ready. And then tuck just around the corner, you're gonna have two US plugs and a Euro plug. Now, I always bring an extra USB splitter and a backup battery so I can charge all my devices at once and then I can use the battery to charge my devices in the evening. You've got two chairs and a coffee table right here in the middle. You've got a nice large sofa right there as well. And then tucked just up front, you're gonna have a small dining table. You can take advantage of that 24 hour in-room dining menu. And because we're at the very front of the ship, there's actually a window that looks out the front, but there's also a balcony. Let me take you right outside there. So now we're out on the balcony. You've got two chairs right here with a table in between. Perfect place for a nice cup of coffee in the morning, maybe a cocktail or glass of wine in the evening. And then right on the side, you have two more chairs. It's that perfect space that you can get out on, sit with the family, check out the incredible views. Or if you wanna step away and have a nice fresh air, you've got that as well. Now, because of the construction of the ship and being in the very front, you can see it's kind of like a cove balcony. So that part is enclosed and you've got a nice large open space right here. Now we're gonna head right back in and let me show you the master bedroom. Now, as we head into the master bedroom, I just wanted to point out one of my favorite features all time traveling with my family, a door. I love the fact that it shuts completely. So the two bedroom spaces that you have specifically in this room, both have a door so you can have that extra level of separation and quiet. Now, as we head in here, you can see you've got the large bed. Of course, you can split it apart into two twins if you prefer. There's two nightstands that would go to the middle if it was on the two twin configuration. You have storage up above here. I like that they've got that on both sides. And then the bed's big enough that you can put your baggage right underneath. Now, another thing that I really wanted to point out was that you don't have plugs on either side of the bed. And so I always bring that battery back up so I can charge it during the day and charge my devices at night. Ton of space once again here. You almost never find this on a cruise ship, especially in a veranda category. Right here, you're gonna find the storage. So hanging storage all along there. These pop down for more hanging storage, storage up above. And then you've got those nice comfy robes as well. And then just over on the side here, you've got a little bit more storage up and down. Now, right in the front, you're gonna have another forward facing window and you've got two chairs and a table right there. So as you can see with this entire room, I love the idea that you can fit the entire family in here. There's separation of space, but you can all come together as well, which to me is the best part of going on a cruise. Now, when you're ready to book this beautiful room or any room or suite on Royal Caribbean, Celebrity, or Silver Sea, reach out to Hard Travel. We are your luxury cruise experts. We know the space is inside and out. We have an amazing relationship with Royal Caribbean Group, and we know that we can craft the vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value.